All right, Trojans, you impatient motherfuckers. I'm going to do the Q&A video now, and I'm going to try to be quick, okay? Because there's a lot of fucking questions. All right, the first question is from... Let me see. If, can y'all see me? Okay. The first question is from uh, Dude Faruqi. If you could be a wrestler, what would be your ring name? Oh, uh, fuck. Um, well, Troy Batista is not my real name, so I would use that. Uh, if, if I can't use it, then I'll probably use, like, the train man or ninja or alien or something like that. You know, just like one name. Uh, if you were to form a stable, including your Facebook friends, who would you choose? Um, well, I would have picked, like, a lot of people, but unfortunately, after the thing happened, where you guys thought that I was doing something, a lot of people turned on me. So, yeah, I don't really know who to trust. I put Darren Charlie Brown because that motherfucker's got my back 24-7, 100%. Uh, Tyler Raines, uh, Gene Carlos, uh, Jack Bartholomew, why not? Uh, Sam, you know, they'd be a tag team. And then uh, maybe you do for rookie. Um, and Jake, okay? Um, do you like my vids so far? Yeah, they're funny. My favorite one is the one of, um, where you fucking said, uh, the one about fuck the smarts, you know, where you got the guy like this. That's my favorite. Um, I like the dark show too. I love it. Who would you like to Benoit, Ziggler or Miz? No, Ziggler and Miz or WWF shot room. Uh, WWF shot room because at least Ziggler and Miz have been in the ring. Uh, WWF shot room are a bunch of people who... Wrestling would be better without those cocksuckers. Darren, could you run on Michael Cole? That's what Darren's asking me. Uh, that's a video for another day, but I'm going to try to make it short and sweet. Ready? He's so annoying. Pick the ankle. Pick the ankle. Pick the ankle. Did you guys see the main event of WrestleMania 30? Tabo Batista. Tabo Batista. Tabo Batista. Did you guys see the main event of Survivor Series? Get up, Ziggler. Get up, Ziggler. Get up, Ziggler. Pin it. WWE. The, the, why is he so why is he so gay? Like seriously, why is he so gay? Why does he scream? I understand McMahon tells him to fucking have passion in his voice, but when you have the most homosexual guy doing it, like it sounds so gay. I'm not watching the WWE right now, but if I ever start watching again, I'm putting the commentary in fucking Spanish, bro. Because Michael Cole is just so fucking gay with it. You you guys remember when Paige turned heel last year? She's like, "This is my house, Michael." Oh, Paige, she was telling AJ, I told you this is my house. I told you, I told you, I told you this is my house. And then there was another time in, before SummerSlam where Randy was attacking Roman Reigns. He's like, but, but Randy, Randy's assaulting, assaulting Roman Reigns. Like, why does he sound so homosexual? I don't know there. Uh, Jack Bartholomew of the YWC Destruction has three questions. Who is your favorite wrestler of all time in TNA? Um... Well, it was Sting, but he's gone, so I'm going to go with Kurt Angle. Of all time, Kurt Angle. Uh, my current one is Bobby Lashley and EC3. I like Split, too. But yeah, Angle's of all time. Uh, who is their favorite band and singer of all time? That's changed over the course of years, but right now, it'd be Hole and Courtney Love. Because for some reason, I've heard all their songs like 100 times. And I always feel compelled to just listen to it whenever I can. So yeah. Who's worse, Dolph Ziggler, The Miz, or Dave Meltzer? Uh, Dave Meltzer because the other two jackasses, like I said, have been in the ring before. Dave Meltzer's an old, fat Jew bastard that doesn't even know what the fuck he's talking about half the time. I actually heard him speak for the first time on Cornette's podcast. His motherfucker sounds like he's got fucking scrotum in his fucking throat. So fuck that asshole. Matthew Hoig. Favorite song of all time. Uh, I thought long and hard when you got this question, and I was stuck between... uh. Gimme Shelter by the Rolling Stones, Bullet with Butterfly Wings by the Smashing Pumpkins, and Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne. This was hard, but for now, I'm going to have to go with Gimme Shelter. It's just a shot away. It's just a shot away. Yeah, Gimme Shelter by the Rolling Stones. It's a must hear, and it's an all time classic, brother. Uh, Metal Gym, what's your favorite food? Uh, it used to be pizza, but I eat that too fast. Uh, I, I like wings, brother. Uh, I like hot dogs. Hot dogs. Boigas, chicken sandwiches. I like uh, Chinese, uh, Asian food. That, that, I, that's my favorite, Asian food. 
some Thai food, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, Gene Carlos, favorite pay-per-view in TNA and WWE. Uh, well, of all time, Lockdown 2000 and well, t Lockdown 2014. I also like Sacrifice 2010. Favorite pay-per-view of all time from WWE, WrestleMania 28 and WrestleMania 20. But if you're asking which ones I like that they do, my favorite pay-per-view WWE does is always the Royal Rumble. And my favorite TNA pay-per-view that they do is... Uh, I like Slammiversary until they got rid of the King of the Mountain. And Bound for Glory is always special. But my favorite TNA pay-per-view they do is uh, Lockdown. So yeah. Jake Rollins-Lewis. Do you prefer the Triple Threat at the Royal Rumble or Kevin Owens versus John Cena? Well, thanks to you, I had to watch that match with Kevin Owens and John Cena. That match was a very good match of the year candidate. Um, in my opinion, it was because of Kevin Owens, though. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to go with a triple threat match at Royal Rumble, though, because that was just off the chain with the tables, crashes, but and all that. But yeah, Royal Rumble, a triple threat match, and Kevin Owens versus John Cena at Elimination Chamber. If, if, you, if you guys haven't seen either of those two, or have you seen one and not the other, watch them both or check out the one that you didn't watch. All right. And then Jake Rollins Lewis asked, Do you like Dr. Pepper? Um, yeah, I love Dr. Pepper, and I know that you do too. And what's your favorite color? Since growing up, like since I was a kid, it was always red. So I'm it's red now. It's red. That's my favorite color. Noah Folan. Oh wow, I'm almost done with these. Okay. Noah Folan. What is your favorite gimmick match? Oh god, I didn't even think about this one. Um Oh, man. I like Scandal Wrestling, but my favorite gimmick match. Jesus Christ. Um, um, I don't know. They've all been... WWE, because they've had pay-per-views, like, based on gimmicks for the last five years, they've, they've all been played out to me, you know? So, I don't get excited for a Hell in a Cell no more. I don't get excited for the Chamber. Um, I like a good old-fashioned hardcore match, though. Yeah. In my opinion, the match to settle all matches is a hardcore match, whether it be a street fight, uh, no holes barred, extreme rules. I like the hardcore matches where like pinfalls count anywhere, so falls count anywhere match. But I like like extreme rules matches. There you go, extreme rules matches. That's what I like. Or any of the gimmick matches that TNA does. Those are interesting. But yeah, I, I like extreme rules or hardcore rule matches, like hardcore rule matches, which leads to the next one. Thoughts on death match wrestling? Oh Jesus, um. CCW does them is what he's talking about. Um, I know that C I'm sure CCW does it when the storyline calls for it. I've seen a couple, and yes, I think when the storyline calls for it, they're pretty good, and they entertain. They're entertaining. Like I'm sure the crowds watching like get entertained. But Jesus Christ, the participants they must have like an incredible tolerance for pain. Like holy shit, those guys kill each other, man. They go to town with each other in them death matches, boy. So yeah, that's that's my thoughts on them. Um, and Tyler Reigns, Courtney, she's the last one, by the way. Do you still like me? Uh, yes, uh, yes, I do. Uh, and then she said, "If you want this professional, then my question is, I'm gonna do it in her voice." What do you think of Money Mayweather and Wanda Wowsey? <laughs> um, as far as I think of them, I think my Money Mayweather is a Money Mayweather is a pussy because he's, I know you're not black. You 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 hey, baby, you man, you 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 already know your racial profile. And his fights are fucking boring because all he does is run and hide. GSP does it, but that's different because he does he shows respect to his opponents. Money Mayweather has no respect. He's just a rich son of a bitch that just throws. Fucking ducks fights. Nope, nope, nope. Just to make that money, money, money. Rig ass bastard. And Ronda Rousey, beautiful woman, extremely talented, amazing, great character. She's herself and character everywhere she goes. Great fighter. She is the ultimate ass kicker. Biggest UFC draw. Does she belong in wrestling? Absolutely not. So, yeah. That is my QA question and answer. And thank you guys for submitting your questions. And, uh, Impact review coming up and then a song cover later this week. God bless. VBS, baby. Thailand Trek.